The next hero for Overwatch has been known for a while, Venture, but we might be playing them a little sooner than you think. Let's have a look. Hey guys, I'm Damesies from the Omnic Post. Back at BlizzCon last year, Blizzard did not only show off MAGA, the Season 8 tank hero, but they also gave us a first look at some of the other upcoming heroes for Overwatch 2. There was a vague icon somewhere in the hero list that seemed to tease the Season 4 tank hero. Then they showed off some concept art for the Season 12 support hero, codenamed Space Ranger. But the biggest one was where they showed off some gameplay for the Season 10 DPS hero, Venture. In other words, Venture is going to be that next hero for Overwatch. And while the details that we know about this new hero are rather limited, there are a few important bits of information that were already hidden in the game and that we could dissect out of that little bit of gameplay. But the best thing is that we most likely won't have to wait till Season 10 to actually play the hero. But more about that in a second. First, let's have a look at what we know about Venture. Venture is a Canadian archaeologist, or a swashbuckling archaeologist as Blizzard calls them, which is kind of like an Indiana Jones. You know, that type of archaeologist that spends more time fighting off Nazis and other types of scum while trying to find the treasure instead of spending hours in the library studying all of these uh, old ancient traditions and societies. They use a huge drill weapon. It looks amazing. It actually kind of looks like something my dentist uses. Painful. And they use it in very different ways. First, it can launch a projectile that does AoE damage, which makes me kind of think it's like Sigma's orb, but with a little less range, at least from what I can tell from that footage. But it does allow you to do damage around corners, which is one of my favorite things about Sigma. Surprise! The second thing they can do with the gun is dash forward, which looks like it's a lot of fun. It looks like they're using the drill to pull themselves forward, and as you would expect, that does some damage. And the third thing they use the weapon for is for burrowing underground, like a mole. <laughs> Venture is the first Overwatch hero that can go under the map intentionally and there's a lot of firsts for this hero they also are the first non-binary hero in overwatch 2 now the burring ability that looks pretty cool and it looks pretty strong now it seems to be limited to five seconds but during that time they are invulnerable and the best thing is they can use their dash to move forward really rapidly underground when they pop up they do damage to anybody that is standing around which sounds so rewarding. I get the sense that this is really one of those tactile heroes, like Doomfist is, in a way. Very promising and unique for Overwatch. When it comes to the ultimate, Blizzard is keeping that a secret, for understandable reasons. They'll probably show it off right before Season 10, or sooner. But if it is in line with the rest of their abilities, it could be quite spectacular. In one of the pieces of concept art that they shared afterwards, there is a small drop that kind of looks like Snowball. You can also see it attached to their back. So maybe that has something to do with their ultimate. We'll see. All that being said, Blizzard did share not too long ago that they did some changes to Venture since that gameplay footage was shown at BlizzCon. So some of their abilities might look rather different once we get to test them. So, I'll get to that in a second. Patience, young one. Let me talk lore first. Where does Venture fit in the lore? Are they tied into Talon? Are they tied into Overwatch? What is their deal? Well, unlike Iyari who came in with a completely new faction that we had never heard about before, Venture's Alliance is actually with an organization that we have known about for over five years now. But they have been hiding in a very mysterious place. Petra, which is perfect. Petra is also featured in one of the Indiana Jones movies and, and they are the swashbuckling archaeologists, so it makes sense. Outside of Petra, there is a base camp with a tent. And on that tent is a logo. It shows a W and then this arrowhead pointing north. Now we can see that same logo on the sleeve of Venture's jacket. It is the logo for the Wayfinder Society, an archaeological research group that according to messages on tablets and laptops all over this map are also working on excavations in other parts of the world, like Ilios for instance. Now as I said, throughout the map there are more references to the Wayfinder Society, but not specifically to Venture, although we currently do not know their real name. Venture is most likely some type of nickname or codename. And near the tent there is a bag that has the name Blaze on it, or Blazé. It kind of depends. It's a French name. So in case Venture is French Canadian, well, and let's be honest, their whole kind of get up in the base skin kind of has this sandy rocky team to it. They even have a climbing axe on their backpack. But they are slightly overdressed for a desert, so there's that. By the way, while recording this footage on Petra, I noticed something was really off with the lighting. 
Like, uh, especially in the darker parts. It might have been my graphic card, or it could be a bug, I don't know. But back to Venture, for now all we can do is guess. Maybe they are one of the team members that are actually stationed on that map. But one thing we know for certain is that they have a tie-in with the lore. And I'm personally very curious to see how they are connected with Talon or Overwatch. Because they are also excavating Ilios. And they actually excavated the statues that are now on Talon maps. We'll learn more about all of that soon enough. I'm looking forward to seeing this hero being added to the roster. I think they had a unique element both in gameplay and in personality. That adventurer or swashbuckler type is not something that we've seen in Overwatch too much. For me, they kind of feel like a good mix between Junkrat and Tracer. At least when it comes to personality. That youthful recklessness in their nature that helps them on these adventures. Combined with a smidge of, um, crazy. The type of crazy that will leave you with a chipped tooth and the lack of care to have it fixed. Yeah, if you look at the concept art, they have a bit of a chipped tooth. I love those kind of details. So, when do we get to test this new hero? Well, when they announced Mauga back at BlizzCon, they actually added the tank hero to the game immediately for a test weekend. So everybody could give him a try. Which was a popular decision. And it gives the development team a chance to gather some data and information before they actually release the hero uh, in the next season. And not too long ago, Aaron Keller, the game director for Overwatch, mentioned that they want to do these tests more often and that they want to test different types of things different types of content but also including the next heroes like venture so my guess is that we'll get to test venture in a window that is like two weeks or a month before the release of season 10. Now season 10 is releasing mid-april so that window would be anywhere between mid-march and the start of april so in other words we could be playing venture in just two weeks which is why i'm making this video now because it's not that far out time to get excited so tell me, are you looking forward to this new hero? Let me know in the comments. A big thank you to my patrons for their support. You guys are legends. You too can become part of the Omnic Post family over on patreon.com slash the Omnic Post. Check out this video on the in-game shop changes that we need for Overwatch 2. Join me during my streams on twitch.tv slash damesystv. But above all, make sure to subscribe. Alright, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Bye-bye. <laughs>